Man, is it hot here. <laughs> okay, I'd like to do a, a quick video talking about Stephen Harper a little bit, the reformist Prime Minister of Canada. And yeah, there's a, a rumor that he's a conservative, and he's not. He is what is called a reformist. Um, the reformists are extreme right wing. They're not just right wing conservatives, they are the extreme right. And they believe in basically um, privatizing everything um, away from the public's control. I mean, as long as we have government control, we can control our government, we can have a say in, in public um, services and um, hospitals, you know, and stuff. But if everything, all these things are privatized, we won't have any say or control on anything. And that's what his agenda is. He's not just a puppet like Obama. You know, he is a driven advocate, a, um, a functionary, and uh, he's a man on a mission. And there's no doubt about that. And, you know, that's what reformism is all about. He only got into power because the conservatives decided to join with the reformists and become the progressive conservatives. Doesn't that make a lot of sense? I would have loved to have done a video on this. Um, a while back, when the uh, the coalition was an issue and that almost happened, um, I was a big believer in that. I think that would have been a good thing. All these different um, parties coming together to to go against the conservatives, and they argued that um, <laughs> that wasn't Canadian and all this crap. Even though Harper proposed a coalition himself back in 2004 and he had the gall to, to call them a separatist movement and all this crap. Harper's a liar, he twists everything, he controls everything. <laughs> um, he's tried to he make cuts, you know, he's tried to make cuts to the arts and stuff and no idea like how that would piss people off. No, we're not gonna like that here in Canada. Uh, the TV show The Real Canadian Air Force, in my opinion, um, you know, very successful, bringing in new comedians, obviously planning on being around for a long while, then they go off the air and it's very kind of secretive. Uh, my opinion, he took that off the air. I don't think he liked being made fun of. I think, I know it sounds petty, but that's Harper, you know. He just, uh, he stuck up little man. <laughs> um, he tries uh, to control media interaction and he does largely control. He wants to know who's going to ask him questions. Um, and he wants to know what questions are going to be asked, so he's prepared to answer them. You know, he already has, before you get to ask your question, he already has the answer for you. Isn't that a control freak for you? Uh, yeah. I mean, he keeps all his um, ministers on a tight leash. Everyone knows that. He's surrounded by yes men. Um, Harper wanted to go into the war in Iraq. Yeah. He endorses the North American Union. Yeah, he calls it the North American Community. He's big on that. War in Afghanistan, yeah. You know, not try, not allowing footage of not only uh, the war, but not allowing footage of the funeral services hardly. Um, not lowering the flag, the Canadian flag, when, when troops die, which is the tradition here. And he said all this was just being respectful for the families of the victims. And the families of the victims said, you know, well, no, uh, you know, our sons died. They're heroes. We want this to be covered, you know. And so he didn't even ask them. Everything's just supposed to be Harper's way, you know. And man, he is a control freak. And um, man, really, I don't even know where to start or to begin with this guy. There's a list here of 100 reasons not to vote for Harper. And it's a little late now, but these are really good points, and uh, I stand behind them. Um, calling an early election, breaking a legislative promise to have a vote in 2009, writing ineffective laws that do not apply to him, turning a record budget surplus into a deficit in three years. He has the most expensive government in Canadian history. At a time when we're in a recession and into a depression, which for the longest while he claimed, um, you know, in, a, in an interview with Peter Mansbridge on CPC, uh, he basically looked right into the eye of the Canadian public and said, no, there's no recession, there's no depression, nothing to worry about. You know, flat out lie, and we all know it. <laughs> I mean, this guy's done everything wrong. The only thing he hasn't done wrong is to be caught in a racial slur. He's done everything else wrong. You know, it's unbelievable. Um, turning Canada's food safety inspectors, um, yeah, cutting 
Canada's food safety inspector, sorry, just prior to a major food poisoning outbreak, listeriosis. Yes, and, and uh, uh, maple leaf uh, meat products uh, got listeria, listeriosis. And there was uh, a minister of his, um, Ritz, I think was his last name, who came up with a cold cuts comment, a, a joke, a very sick joke. And was he fired for that? Did Harper fire him? No, no. no I was fine with Harper. Adding a personal hairstylist image consultant to the PMO staff and billing the taxpayer for her services. Fudging the cost of government jets used by Stephen Harper and his ministers after blasting liberals for the same thing. Kicking Garth Turner out for communicating with Canadians. Firing MP Bill Casey for doing his job and standing up for his constituents. Producing a 200-page manual of dirty tricks. Yeah. Man, there's a hundred things here. I don't have time to go through them all, obviously, only a few. Um, firing conservative senators Hugh Seagal and Michael Mikan, uh, sorry, I don't know, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, from Committee Work for Independent Thinking. Muzzling conservative MPs and banning them from unauthorized media interviews. <laughs> See, he's got to have control over everything. Broken promise on taxing income trusts. Deporting hard-working, tax-paying president Portuguese, or sorry, resident Portuguese drywallers. So I'm not very good at reading out loud, sorry. And I, I, I've read this list a few times. I just, I agree with, with all this stuff. Um, just don't know what to read, what not. Refusing to allow media coverage of the return home of Afghan war dead, see. Broken promise on providing a health care waiting time guarantee. Threatening conservative MPs with loss of party status that they talked about funding cuts that affect their constituents. Running the most secretive and least accountable government in Canadian history after running on, on a platform of accountability. Huh. Well, nothing's new with that, really. Trying to buy a 2007 Quebec election with 34% increase in transfer payments. Well, I mean, the list goes on and on and on and on. If you want to take a look at it, I'll have the link in the sidebar. I really don't know where to begin and end with this guy, but yeah, he is a supporter of the North American Union. He's a corporate functionary. He's a control freak. I mean, we I can't wait for this guy to get the hell out of office. I mean, here's the definition of fascism. A system of government marked by centralization of authority under a dictator, stringent socioeconomic controls, suppression of the opposition through terror and censorship, and typically a policy of belligerent nationalism and racism. And yeah, of course, this party has been accused of racism and sexism. Um, yeah, um, they've been called xenophobic. Um, Huh. Where to begin and where to end? What can I say? Harper, get the hell out of office.